All right, guys, so these are the supplies that you need to have in your bucket. You're going to have a plastic sleeve where all of your checklists are going to be. Make sure you have enough for the week when you're requesting supplies or going and getting resupplied. You're going to have a bag of quadruple ought steel wool, a, um, a roll of rag bags for your dirty rags. I recommend pulling one of these off immediately when you enter the home and when you're filling up the rags. Um, you are also going to have a sprayer of DZ7, a pumice stone, uh, RMR for mold and mildew, crud cutter for those deep, uh, dirty cleans. You're going to have a restock supply of uh, DZ7, which means that you're going to fill this thing up twice and then fill it into your spray bottle and then fill the rest with water at the client's home. Soft scrub or comet, glass cleaner, rain -X for glass shower doors, CLR for hard water, Dawn dish soap is your extra. You can use it a few drops in your mop bucket if you need it in case you've needed to rinse out your mop water after filling it um, and it's just gotten too dirty and you're going to need two or three different mop uh, buckets full. Uh, you can also use it for squeegeeing uh, once we've taught you how to use um, the squeegee and uh, window mop. Uh, that's for um, interior exterior windows if you're doing a lot of those. Uh, wood care, easy off oven cleaner, um, and last but not least, the stainless steel cleaner. And usually in here, you're also going to have a, a little, uh, this is for opening paint cans, but I use it for uh, cleaning out the window sills. Uh, and your extra toothbrush or whatnot. One of the things I forgot to mention about the RMR, as you can see, it has a lid on it. Do not leave its sprayer inside. It will just break this thing. So um, one of the things that after you use the RMR is you um, fill a sink full of water and then spray it clean until nothing else comes out.